Well, even in campers, he's getting fucking later and later, isn't he? It was 7th of June, live. It's 1835. I'm up at, uh... I don't know what we're going to place it then. So we just walk by then. Well, he peeps is about Cleo. Pulled up here. I was going to get out boxies this afternoon. But I was on my way and I got phoned up by Phil. Phil Newman, my mate, his missus. Got this fucking great camper van, haven't they? And he reckons the brakes weren't right on it. So I went over there and looked, and it seemed right to me. And uh, once we sort of got it going, and, and he got the, the, the dust off the, the rust of it off the front brakes, moved it a bit because he didn't use it, it just felt a bit weird. And she got one of these fancy fucking four wheel drive cars that will stop with a fucking sixpence. So anything like that's a bit, anything else a bit primitive. But she's lovely, that Mel. She's bloody little, she is. I should stop that fucking van quick. I used to have a jump off the bloody seat. She'll wear a parachute and that's on there. If you've got to stop quick, she'll parachute off the seat or something. Yeah, but... Yeah, I got a... Yeah, you know, a couple of hours. It's quite good to catch up. We chat. So I thought, well, I'm going to box these tomorrow. So, um... I got the clay hill. Because I was going to go back to... Nest. But I thought to myself, if I go back there... She must be a babe. She'll bloody she'll be gone. Gone to work. I'll be she's back by about half past nine. Of course, when I get chatting and fucking whatever, then she'll bring me out a cup of tea out the van and we'll have a chat. And she might get in bed and we'll just lay in bed and fucking chat. And and then she'll get on and then she's got to do something else. But she went shopping for me today and she got more of me stuff. I thought she'd throw me fucking out. She want, I thought she'd want me to go. Quite bloody come said to me, Julie, you shopping? I went, yeah. She got the shop and then she asked me if I was coming back tonight. Bloody good, isn't it? Thought I'd been fucking abandoned. Put myself up for adoption. I think I might have to put myself up for adoption. Yeah. But yeah, that van that uh, Mel got. Who oh, feels business? That's a fucking nice van, is I like that. Only they had 2.8 and they, they want a map on they want a map on them really, don't they make them go a little bit better? Uh, they're good for fucking a good few hundred thousand miles when you look after them. Yeah. Anyway, I got my van taxed. I got it MOT'd. Um, the service is due about now. I don't know about these bloody services, see. Because if you've got one of these and it's a commercial, you drive it as a commercial, they service them. They have a look at them once a year and service them every 20,000 miles. Well... Mine's done 58,000 miles now, so I should be coming up to be third service. This will be my fucking eighth. So, it's getting service every... every 9,000 miles? <laughs> Dear. Give a run round it, give it a few hell fucking Marys, and I'll do service like that. Hey, dear old Monty, Monty, Twotty, Wotty. Belt and fucking braces, is that what you call it, mate? Anyway, I'm up here, I keep glancing at the television. I keep all of this fucking coronavirus, isn't it? Isn't it? You know. I mean, they treat us, they treat the population like a load of idiots. And having a fucking look at it, apparently most of them fucking are. You know. I mean, why can't they put a screen up? With a hole in it. Stick your fucking hand through. Get your nails done. You know, I need my nails done. I get my, you usually get my nails done every six weeks. So, you know, a bit of pedicure. Stick your foot. You're far enough fucking away from me. And it'll be four foot away from me. Fuck off. Five foot. Well, like four foot nine. So it's got to be five, five and a half foot fuck away from me. It's dead with my feet. Yeah, yeah we can't do it, can we? I've got to get her indoors to do me pedicures for fucking the last fucking two or three months. But a bugger it is. You gotta keep your got to keep your nails nice, ain't you? you? Gotta fucking do it, you never know. You never know anybody wanna look at your hands. But there you go. Yeah, so um when I'm gonna get up to tomorrow, I wanna move these gauges around, I don't know if a box it'll help me or not. You know. Oh bollocks, I left me fucking rods at them, don't I? Oh with a nest. I got a set of rods, they're about, you know, a foot long. 
and you can push them in little holes and screw them together and you can push them through and get your wires through because I'm going to have to move my wiring from the front to the back. But hey ho, hey ho. I could do a video of that, couldn't I? If I could be fucking bothered, but that's what I can. Anyway, I'll, uh. I want to be fucking out and do it. That's where we're to. Let's serve some noise. Don't need people still here or not. And we still about her. I'll put you out. I want to meet who's out there and try fucking, um. Just fucking chock her block when I come up here a couple of hours ago. But, um, you know, that's a gym. I could go there and get all fucking healthy. We don't fucking want none of that, do we? Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Bye-bye.